has been a massive revamp of Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister Jagan Mohan Reddy's cabinet. Now, Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister Jagan Mohan Reddy keeping his promise made in June 2019 of revamping his cabinet halfway through his tenure has reconstituted it. The newly formed cabinet has a mixture of senior and experienced leaders as well as fresh and young faces for a balanced governance. My colleague Uma Sudhir joins us with the latest update. Uma, across, over to you. What can you share with us at the moment? Uh, Jagan Mohan Reddy is going to have his uh, new cabinet uh, being sworn in tomorrow in the morning at 11 o'clock. As you mentioned, halfway through his term, he has said that he is going to go for a revamp. And that's what he's done now. He's had, in fact, asked his entire cabinet to resign. And then he's taking in new members. So now what we understand is that He's going to uh, be having 25 members uh, matching with the 25 districts, uh, uh, sorry, 25 parliamentary constituencies that we are talking about that Andhra Pradesh has. And uh, 17 of them, we are told, belong to the SCST, BC and minorities. He, in the earlier cabinet, in fact, had five deputy chief ministers and three women as ministers, including a woman from the uh, Dalit community as the home minister. And now the representation of women is going up from three to four. And... Uh, Interestingly, what uh, we were told earlier is that 90% of the cabinet would in fact be uh, replaced and uh, hardly about, uh, you know, few people may be retained. But what we understand now is that out of the 10 ministers who have been retained from the previous cabinet, three of them are from the SC community, five from the BC community and two from the uh, OC community. I'm just going to read out uh, for our uh, viewers in Andhra Pradesh and elsewhere who are very interested that uh, Dharmana Prasad Rao, uh, who belongs to the BC community, Sidiri Apala Raju, BC community, Bhatsa Satyanarayana, again BC community, uh, Rajana Dura, Gudivad Amarnath, Buddhi Mutyala Naidu, Dadi Shetty Raja, Sinepi Vishwarupam, Chelubhoina Venugopala Krishna, Taneti Vanita, Karumuri Nageshwar Rao, Kittu Satyanarayana, Jogi Ramesh, Ambati Rambabu, Meraga Nagarjuna, Vidadala Rajmi, Kakani Govardhan Reddy, Amjad Pasha, who is a Muslim representative, Bugana Rajendranath, who was the finance minister and continues, Gumanuru Jairam, Sethi Reddy Ramchandra Reddy, Narayan Swami, Roja Selvamani, Usha Sri Charan, and Tipe Swami. This is the list that uh, is going to be uh, taking their vote as ministers now. Uh, as I mentioned, yes, 10 people retained from the earlier thing. There was some kind of criticism, I must say, you know, earlier about uh, whether, uh, you know, Jagan had said that this is a strategy for the 2024 draft. Uh, elections when parliament as well as assembly elections will happen he was hoping that the earlier ministers would all now become some kind of political coordinators because of the rapport that they had developed with the people and that they should be very useful before uh, the 2024 elections but there was one critical view as well saying that in each of these districts if you're going to have uh, a new center of power developing there will be two alternate centers of power in each of these uh, districts and that could lead to uh, you know uh, one uh, battle of political upmanship so uh, possibly that uh, council has also worked for Jagan Mohan Reddy because of which uh, many senior ministers and who he thought were useful to him, he has uh, retained. So 10 ministers from his earlier cabinet, you would recall the 24 people had resigned after right. he had that uh, cabinet meeting, last cabinet meeting of the earlier team at 3 p.m. on uh, Friday. And uh, he had said that new team would be put in place, but 10 of them have been retained from the previous cabinet. Back to you.